Tonight, we're having dinner at the world's most visited dinner attraction. We're gonna be involved in a stampede. Let's see. I'm Jay. And I'm Sam. And you're watching the Theme Park Foodies. And tonight we're in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, at Dolly Parton Stampede, at the most visited dinner attraction in the world. According to their website. According to their website. Uh, behind us are all the horses that you can see as you wait online to enter Dolly Parton Stampede. It's a dinner show. Um, I don't know a lot about it. I've never been here. There before. are four horses. Four horses. 30, 32 horses. 32 horses, and uh, how long, um, what, what type of foods are we will be eating tonight? I think rotisserie chicken, mm. maybe some pork. Nice. It, the website was a little vague. Very so. good reviews for here. We definitely want to do a dinner show because dinner shows are one of the big things in this area. And Dolly Parton, I mean, we're staying at her resort, we're going to her theme park. I feel like we we're obligated to try this dinner show out. So uh, we're going to get online to go inside. I'll let you in about 5 30. You get to hang out near these horses before then. Uh, so we'll take some shots of the horses and let you guys know what we think of our time. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy our dinner here. I wonder what side we're going to be on, north yeah, or south. north or south. Ooh. We actually got to watch Peyton come out here before. There's also a uh, Charon, I don't think I'm saying that correctly. There's Pain Horse, Quarter Horse. You can see all the horses that will be in the show tonight out here. The line to get it in is, is very long, so... I definitely believe their claim that they're the most visited dinner show, at least around here. Uh, traffic here can be rough too, there's a Texas Roadhouse across the street. You want a, a good good place to stay right near Stampede, looks like this lodge at Mill Creek is the place to stay. This is the sign right off the main road here, lets you know all the different times that the shows will be today. I believe they were 3.30, 6 o'clock, and 8.30. The building here kind of looks like an old barn. I'm excited for the show. Looks like uh, we have some hay up there, some lights on it. It's probably be nice lit up at night. And here's the Stampede Dinner Attraction office. There's the entrance right there. The line is very long. They also have a character outside. Looks like a Southern Bell. See all the different light posts, and foliage, and lighting around the building. The line is very long. Already stretching out over here. Uh, Nico is a uh, bit of a lighter colored horse. Here's Zeke. Mostly seeing his horse butts right now. He's got the horse. <laughs> that one's got some white to him. Joker is his name. We have some, uh, for sure, for the Hatfield and McCoy dinner feud on here as well. And some hand sanitizer. There has been a mask update. Masks are no longer required for fully vaccinated guests. Oh, well, if you're fully vaccinated or under the age of 12, you don't need to wear a mask. Like these light fixtures with horses on them. Oh, the line moves pretty fast. Good job. What'd you say, honey? I feel like the line moves pretty fast. Yeah. Well, Sam was noticing that you can make your own stick horse here. I guess it's kind of like a Build-A-Bear, but with stick horses, right? I guess so. I really like these ticket books, Sam. Like they have like flowers above them and everything. Pictures of Dolly in the background. It's very nice. Boot mugs. Yeah, so Sam got these souvenir boot mugs that uh, you, you have to pay extra for them, right? Yes. Yeah. Nice. So I guess we can take them up before we go up. It's, uh, the theme in here is really cool. I can't wait to go inside and see everything. All right, we're inside. Oh, you can see all these little toy horses here. Wow. A lot of games and stuff. Right here is highlighting uh, Dolly Parton's... Imagination Library. Yeah, where she hands out free books and stuff. So she actually every month. get mail every month. Wow. And it's completely free. Very cool. These horse saddles. Oh, they're about to take a picture of us. Nice. Right, we just took a picture. We're going into the saloon entrance now. Oh, wow. Oh, you smell that popcorn. Sam just told me something I never realized. You never did a dinner show before, Sam. 
All right, so you go to the right okay. um, as you walk in to get the boot mode. Two hurricane drinks and one popcorn, fifteen dollars. That sounds like a bargain. <laughs> Seriously. Oh wow, yeah. I like one drink at like fifteen dollars. <laughs> Some places, yeah. Maybe we're just used to Disney prices. I'm excited for my boot mug. Should we get popcorn? I mean, we're gonna have a whole dinner. Um, All right. We don't need popcorn. You're right. You're right. Here are their mocktails and cocktails. I think we're good. Thanks. All right. So we got our Dolly Parton Stampede boot mugs. It's a cool little souvenir. Um, I got the Skeeters Fire Water. And what you get, Sam? I don't even remember. I think you got the cherry blossom. Oh, okay. It tastes yeah. like a Shirley Temple. Yeah, mine tastes uh, like kind of like Minute Maid lemonade and orange juice with a little bit of Sprite. They don't serve any alcohol. No alcohol here. So, going virgin tonight. All right, we're in sections A to G. We're on the north side. So we didn't get south, which makes sense because we're from New York. All right, we just got situated. I'm not sure how much we're going to be able to talk during this vlog, uh, because obviously there'll be a show going on as we eat. I will try to pan over the food, and we'll try to remember what we ate, and then mm -hmm. at the end of the video, we will let you know our favorites. Uh, Already, I love the way we're seated. Mm -hmm. Like, it's spacious, and then they put all these little dividers, so yeah. we're like in our own little section. I'm not sure if the dividers were like a COVID thing, but it's it's very nice, because it nice. makes it more intimate. And, like, the table is like, like a nice height. Yeah. Like, I don't feel cramped. Yeah. Um, uh, let's let's give, show you a panoramic view of the way the stage looks. Now, I'm really excited because this is Sam's first dinner show, like we said before. Uh, you can see it says Dolly Parton Stampede right there on the floor. There's a moon in the background with some uh, waterfalls going on. We have our soup bowl. Tip is not included in the... Oh, tip is not included. So come with cash. Yes. Yes. Yeah, and then we get this uh, for drinks. This little bowl. Our plate. We're seating G3 if you want to receive it. Obviously, our boot that we got before. And uh, these are the dividers that Sam was talking about. Sam, I just noticed the moon is actually setting as we get closer to showtime. Oh, wow. I like your fan. Yeah. I also really like the lighting in here. It has a real like Disney World indoor outdoor type of vibe. You can see kind of like snow in the distance. And it looks like it's like wind hitting the trees as they brush there in the back as the moon sets on the horizon of the Smoky Mountains. It's nice. You can, it smells like horse, too. There's that horse smell. There are 32 horses <laughs> That makes sense. It makes sense. I notice it's right here behind us. They actually have some indoor trees, too. And there's a projector I see right up there. I wonder what that would be used for. Six and the moon has completely set on the horizon of the Smoky Mountains. I'm assuming that means the show's gonna be starting soon. All right. All right, so I got some lemonade here in the mason jar. And Sam got the sweet tea, right? Yeah. Very southern. Yeah, that's what I figured. Sam, I just noticed the moon's now coming up on the left side. So it went, it went down on the right side, or our right side, is now coming up on our left side. Oh, cool. Side note, I really enjoy how not crowded it is here. Yeah. It's not like super loud. Yeah, no. I would expect it to be more chaotic. Yeah, it's pretty scenic. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. Yeah. All right, now the moon is in the middle of the, uh, it's risen to the middle. It's almost 6.15. So I guess it doesn't start exactly at 6. So good, that's to know. good to know. Yeah. You don't need to rush okay. here. I'm assuming when the when the moon is highest in the sky now, I thought it was when it's set. I guess when it's highest in the sky is when it starts. It looks like the show's and about to start. And they also have uh, flags available for three dollars. Yeah, spring cash. She didn't buy me one. I I didn't bring cash. I didn't know it was cash only. We have here. a limited amount of cash, and we want to use it for the tip, so that's why we're not purchasing the flag. Yes. A very special group here with us tonight. All of our veterans, active servicemen and women, and first responders attending our show.
that's more like it. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to Dolly Parton's Stampede. My name is Jay Teeter, and I'll be your host for...
All right, Sam, so what'd you think of Dolly Parton's Stampede? That was amazing. Really? Well, that was that her was first like, dinner show it was ever. It wild. I didn't know <laughs> yeah. what to expect. I, I didn't want like to film too much of the show. So acrobats I got and dancing and yeah. pigs and horses. Horses and running through fire. There was like audience participation, like doing these like contests and... Yeah, it was fun. It was really... I felt like I was like in school for some reason. <laughs> like, like the stamping and the yelling. When they first talked about like the North versus South stuff, I was worried it was going to be like a Civil War theme. Yeah, that's what I thought. But it wasn't. It was like a rivalry and at the end it has a really cool song by Dolly Parton that kind of like it's like a very americana uh fun you know like nostalgia america type yeah. of feelings to it. it it was a lot of fun uh, the food however left something to be desired i heard there used to be cheddar biscuits uh they had normal biscuits probably the biscuits uh the apple turnover was okay i like the rotisserie chicken the chicken was good chicken the was pork good was a little dry. pork was dry the potato like had no butter or anything. the potato needed butter and the uh the corn needed butter. I was, I would have been nice if you got like a bucket of like biscuits and butter or something. Uh, the soup was good. The soup actually, I think, was kind of the highlight. Yeah, I would give the soup like a seven. Give the chicken like a six. Pork would be like a five. Corn, it's like a four. Like yeah, edible, but really nothing on it. Yeah. No seasonings. Uh, and the apple turnover, I would give like a, a six too. Uh, food was wasn't that great, but it's an experience, and it's something that we wanted to. Uh, you know, experience since we're here in the Pigeon Forge area and these dinner shows are a big draw here. We really enjoyed it. It was really cool seeing the horses before you go in. Yeah, and there were like comedians that yeah. were part of the show that were pretty funny. Yeah, no, the whole show itself, uh, you know, uh, a nod to the performers and the servers that work very hard to serve yeah. all those people. I mean, to be honest, it's very hard to produce that much food and to make it a very high quality. So if you enjoyed the content, Please like and subscribe if you're in the Pigeon Forge era. We definitely think that checking this out is, is worth doing, but don't expect, uh, you know, fine dining. And just for reference, this was about, it was like less than 10 minutes from the Dream War Resort. Yeah. We Ubered and it was about $7. Yeah. So if you're staying there. Not bad. And how much was it per person? 60 per person? 59.99, I think. Yeah, 60 per person. So. Uh, again, if you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Liking is really going to help our channel grow. Subscribing will let you know next time we have new videos uh, coming out. Hit the bell notification. That way you're notified when videos come out. When is that again, Sam? Mm -hmm. Every Monday and Thursday. At? 12 p.m. All right. Yeah. So check it out uh, for those videos. We have a bunch of uh, Pigeon Forge and Dollywood videos either in there right now or coming out very soon. We really appreciate you guys watching. Don't count the days. Don't make the days count. We'll see you next time. That's all, folks. Bye, boot mug. <laughs> I'm happy we did this.